Hello, I'm Dr. Khalid Iqbal, ENT specialist at Astor's Garden Medical Center in Discovery Gardens. Today I'm going to talk about a very general topic that is ear infections. I'm sure most of us have experienced an ear infection at some point in our life. If you don't remember, it's probably because you were a child. It is one of the most common diseases of childhood and fairly common in adults as well. Broadly speaking, ear infections can be classified as acute or chronic. Acute infections usually have a short history, usually a couple of days, and have more urgent symptoms such as severe ear pain, ear discharge, or swelling in and around the ear. The two common acute ear infections are acute otitis media and swimmer's ear. Acute otitis media is what uh, a child usually has when he or she wakes up at night crying with fever and while clutching his or her ears. There's usually a history of preceding upper respiratory tract infection as well. Swimmer's ear, as the name suggests, happens due to excessive water into the ear and a habit of uh, using Q-tips after that. Fungal ear infections are also common and they result from excessive humidity and wrong ear hygiene practices. Treatment of acute ear infections usually involves going to the ENT doctor. He would prescribe you topical or oral medication. He would sometimes clean your ear as well and suggest you ear hygiene or dry ear precautions. Uh, coming to chronic ear infections. Chronic ear infections have more subtle symptoms, have a longer history, and because the symptoms are so subtle, people tend to ignore them. Uh, the common symptoms of chronic ear infections are usually recurrent ear discharge and uh, a progressive hearing loss. Chronic ear infections are usually associated with a damage to the eardrum and uh, or to the surrounding structures. Uh, the treatment of chronic ear infections usually involves a surgical management, a surgical treatment of eardrum perforations. Uh, in conclusion, ear infections are fairly common. A good way to prevent ear infections is to keep your ears dry at most of the times and to avoid using Q-tips. Uh, also, uh, any ear symptoms such as ear discharge, pain in the ear or any decrease in hearing should prompt you to go to an ENT doctor, let him or her examine you so that the Infections, ear infections or problems can be diagnosed and caught at an earlier stage. Remember, proper management and diagnosis of ear infections would go a long way in preventing ear diseases, chronic ear diseases, and to preserve your hearing. Thank you.